Good morning everyone. Uh, this is Cisco Packet Tracer and this activity is 13.2.7 uh, configure uh, basic wireless LAN on the wireless LAN controller. First is we need to put our name here. Say Olandria. Then okay. <coughs> So this is the addressing table and objectives. In this lab, you will explore some of the features of wireless LAN controller. You will create a new wireless LAN on the controller and implement security on that LAN. Then you will configure a wireless host to connect to the new wireless LAN through an EP that is under the control of the wireless LAN controller. Finally. You will verify connectivity. So this is our objectives. Connect to our wireless LAN controller GUI. Explain some of the information that is available on the WC monitor screen. Configure a WLAN on a wireless LAN controller. Then implement security on a WLAN. And last is configure a wireless host to connect to a wireless LAN. An organization is centralizing control of their wireless LAN by replacing their standalone access points with lightweight access points LAP and a wireless LAN controller WLC. You will be leading this project and you will want to become familiar with the WLC and any potential challenges that may occur during the project. You will configure WLC by adding a new wireless network and securing it with WPA-2 PSK security to test the configuration you will connect a laptop to the wireless LAN and ping devices on the network so part 1 monitor the WLC wait until the STP has converged on the network you can click the packet trace fast forward time button to speed up the process continue when all the link lights are green so so as you can see all the links here are green so let's proceed to the next steps a go to the desktop of admin PC and open our browser enter the management IP address of WLC 1 from the addressing table into the address bar you must specify the HTTPS protocol so go to the admin PC and desktop web browser So here, we need to use the IP address of management as our HTTP, then paste, oh. so we need to that Five four, then go. Um, let's specify the HTTPS. Okay, it's done. Click the login and enter the credential username as admin, password as Cisco one two three. After a short delay, you will see the WLC monitor summary screen. So, click login, then username is admin, password is cisco123, then click login. So, after a short delay, this is the interface of the monitor. What can be learned from this screen? So, as you can see, there are a lot of... We can learn from the screen. There are control summary, rogue summary, top WLANs, most recent strap, and more. Is the WLC connected to an AP? So, 
you can see it's connected click detail next to the all APs entry in the access point summary section of the page what information can you find about APs on the all AP screen so here details So as you can see, there are IP name, IP address before, or IPv6, IP model, access point MAC address, access point uptime, admin status, operational status, POE status, and more. Create a wireless LAN. Now, you will create a new wireless LAN on the WLC, you will configure the settings that are required for host to join the WLAN. Step 1. Create model. Create and enable the WLAN. Click WLAN in the WLC menu bar. Locate the drop down box in the upper right hand corner of the WLAN screen. It will say create new. Click go to enter the new w wireless LAN. So click, click the wireless LANs. In the WLC menu bar, then as you can see, there there is create new. Then after create new, hit go. Enter the file name of the, the new wireless LAN. Use the file name floor two. So file name use floor. To employees, employees, and the is is ID is 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 ID dash five. Is is ID dash five. Select I the ID of the wireless LAN. This value is a label that will be used to identify the wireless LAN is other displays select a value of 5 to connect uh, to keep it consistent with the world and with the VLAN number and ACS ID this is not a requirement but it helps with understanding the topology so let's choose the ID of 5 click apply so, so that the settings to go into effect so let's click apply So this is the VLAN, WLANs edit. Now that the wireless LAN has been created, you can configure features of the network. Click the in, click enable to make the wireless LAN functional. It is a common mistake to accidentally skip this part. So this step shouldn't be skip. Then as you can see, there's status. You must click this enable. Choose the W uh, choose the VLAN interface that will be used for the wireless LAN. The WLC will use this interface for users user traffic on the network. Click the drop down box for the interface slash interface group G. Select WLAN dash pipe interface. So here we selected WLAN dash pipe. This interface was previously configured on the WLAN WC WLC for this activity. Click the advanced tab. So here advanced tab. Scroll down to the flex connect portion of the page. Click to enable flex connect local switching and flex connect local out. So scroll down. And as you can see here flex connect local switching. So we need to Check this and also this. Click apply to enable the new wireless LAN. If you forget, if you forget to do this, the wireless LAN will not operate. So you must not forget this step.
Step 2. Secure the wireless LAN. The new wireless LAN currently has no security in place. This wireless LAN will in initially use WPA2-PSKI security. In another activity, you will configure the wireless LAN to use WPA2-Enterprise, a much better solution for larger, larger wireless networks. In, in the wireless LANs, edit screen for the floor to employees wireless LAN, click the security tab. Under the layer 2 tab, select WPA plus WPA2. So select security, then under the layer 2, select WPA plus WPA2. From the layer 2 security drop down box, this will rebuild the, the WPA parameters. Click the checkbox next to the WPA2 policy. This will reveal additionally security settings under Authentication Game Management Enable PS Key. So, click the checkbox next to the WPA policy. So PS key we must enable this and PS key format. Now you can enter the pressured key that will be used by host to join the wireless LAN. Use Cisco one two three as the passphrase. So we use Cis Cisco one two three. Click apply to save these settings then apply ah i forgot the wpa apply press ok to continue ok Okay, it's done. It is not a good practice to reuse passwords when configuring security. We have reused password in this activity to simplify the configuration. Step 3. Verify the settings. After applying the configuration, click back. This will take you back to the wireless LAN screen. So, click back and this will take to wireless LAN screen. What information about the new wireless LAN is available on the screen? So as you can see, the information available on the screen is the wireless LAN ID, type, profile, profile name, wireless LAN SSID, admin status, security policies. If you click the wireless LAN ID, you will be taken to the wireless LAN edit screen. Use this to verify and change the details of the settings. So click the ID so this is the wireless LAN edit screen if you have a mistake in configuring this you can modify these settings you must verify if all our configuration configurations are correct then this is id dash five floor to the employees oh it's okay i think it's done and we're going to the next step connect a host to the wireless lan step one connect to the network and verify connectivity go to the desktop of wireless host and click the pc wireless style you must so we're going to close this and we're going to we're going to wireless host desktop then PC wireless click the connect tab after a brief delay you will you should see the SSID for the 
wireless LAN appear in the table of wireless network names. Select the SSID-5 network and then click the connect button. So, click the connect tab. Then, here, you see the SSID-5. Then, click it and then go connect. Enter the pressured key that you configure for the wireless LAN and click connect. So we use Cisco 123, then connect. Click the link information tab. You should see a message that confirms that you have successfully connected to the access point. You should on also see a wireless wave in the topology showing the connection to LAP-1 so link information tab and as you can see there is a message here that said you have successfully connected to the access point so it basically mean that you are successfully connected click the more information button to see details about the connection so you can see here the more information close the pc wireless app and open the ip configuration app verify that wireless host has received a non api uh, api pa ip address over dhcp so close this and go to ip configuration so as you can see the DH, dhcp are received the ip the ip address from wireless host, ping the wireless LAN default gateway and the server to verify that the laptop has fully connected. So, we must ping to the server. So, ping, then we copy this IP address of the server. Paste. Let's just one seven two thirty one one dot two five four. Okay, we got the reply. The next is we must ping to the WLC one. So we must use this IP address so we can ping one nine two dot one six eight two hundred dot two five four. Okay, we got the reply. So, that's all for Packet Tracer 13.2.7 activity. Configure a basic wireless LAN on the wireless LAN controller.